Whatever happened to predictability? For millions of Americans, it was a call to settle in for a half hour of American nostalgia. From dad jokes. I'm a lean, mean, hugging machine. <laughs> to sage advice. DJ, we're still a family. And now is when we really need to stick together. Bob Saget starred as the beating heart of sitcom Full House, personifying the average American father. Steph, I think it's wonderful that you wanted to throw Com at a birthday party, but did you have to invite every dog on the block? <laughs> His perpetual presence, thanks to reruns, kept Saget on screen for decades. But this weekend, shock and sadness as America's dad unexpectedly died. It's gonna be for a male patient. Caller's advising it's an obvious death, stating a security officer found the guest not breathing, no pulse. The 65-year-old comedic legend found unresponsive in his hotel room in Florida just hours after finishing a successful show from his ongoing tour. Thank you to one person that is <laughs> demented as me when I'm not thinking. These short clips showing Saget during a two-hour set. The show went so well, Saget posted this on Instagram afterward. A selfie writing, I'm back in comedy like I was when I was 26. I guess I'm finding my new voice and loving every moment of it. When I spoke to him, he sounded, uh, he sounded really good. Longtime friend and fellow comic Gilbert Gottfried had recently talked with Saget as he kicked off this latest tour. I found out about this yesterday. I was like, thought it was a sick joke, and I was waiting for the punchline. And, uh, and then it didn't come. The police report says a security team member went to check on Saget after his family called, and he had failed to check out of his room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando. They found Saget in bed unresponsive. There was no evidence of drug use or foul play. An autopsy was performed today, but determining the cause of death could take several more weeks, even months. His wife, Kelly, releasing a statement saying, Bob was my absolute everything. I am so completely shattered and in disbelief. He was one of the good guys. Melissa Rivers reflecting on her friend and how he supported her when her famous mom, Joan Rivers, passed away in 2014. She thought Bob was hilarious and, and very much respected how multifaceted his career was. Saget started his comedy career back in the late 70s after graduating Temple University. By 1984, he'd made a home at comedy clubs. Bob Saget, huh? In this clip from HBO, Saget is called on stage by Rodney Dangerfield. But I love my mom, and you can't do for this $12. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was easy. Let that go. I'm sorry. Don't applaud that. You're scum, buddy. You really are. Just a few years later, in 1987, the young the comic known for racy jokes times. and dirty language would get his big break. You're a natural. As a clean freak widower, raising three daughters with his best friends. DJ, we have to talk. You don't understand. I don't like the way I look. His Not advice as like dad, words. Danny Tanner, guiding Side a generation. You know, how a person looks on the outside isn't nearly as important as who they are on the inside. Right. Saget never could shake the wholesome G-rated persona of Danny Tanner, cultivated over eight seasons. Bob Saget. A family-friendly vibe he kept up while hosting America's Funniest Home Videos. We've got a lady who sleeps with a stuffed moose, a boy who makes face noises, and a man who plays dueling banjos with his ears. <laughs> and they say there's no quality TV. <laughs> All my friends are saying, Bob, this is the good time in your life. Enjoy it now. I'm going to tell you an incredible story. And even more, narrating every mother. episode of How I Met Your Mother. 25 years ago, before I was dad, I had this whole other life. All of it, a far cry from the raunchy and often profane humor his friends remember. There was a movie, The Aristocrats, and they were surprised that he could talk dirty or sick or anything. And, and people who knew him weren't at all surprised by this. So then they start singing, make them laugh. <laughs> the Aristocrats was a 2005 documentary featuring stand-up comedians all telling versions of a taboo, dirty joke. Many viewers had never seen this side of America's dad. Uh, can I get a tape of this for my reel? I want to show this to my dad. I got to finish the joke. 
Saget's influence in the comedy world extends far, mentoring stars like The Office's B.J. Novak. Please welcome in my friend, B.J. Novak. The two appearing on Saget's podcast, Bob Saget's Here For You, co-starring some of his famous friends. When I moved out to write on your show, I'm sure you remember, you called my mom at home. And my mom was very worried. I remember her face and she was talking to you and she was nodding and nodding. You said, I'm going to take care of him. Yeah. But he always stayed connected right. to his full house family, whether as guests right. on his show or on others. The comic waxing poetic about John Stamos during a visit with Jimmy Kimmel. People were like John, just uh, handsome and smart and didn't talk about show business, talked about family. And, uh, oh, wow. and that was... And that's, never, and that's why Full House will never go off the air. <laughs> they would all reunite on screen for the reboot Fuller House. Stamos tweeting, I am broken. I am gutted. I am in complete and utter shock. I will never, ever have another friend like him. I love you so much, Bobby. Talking about it, that's what helps me. Talking about the memories. Hey, Bob Saget. In one of his last oh, interviews so with Florida station WJXT, Bruce, just days so before his death, Saget said this about how he views his job. I really love doing stand-up now more than I ever have. And I don't, I don't talk politics, I don't talk religion. I just want to make people laugh, you know? In his book, Dirty Daddy, Saget summed up his philosophy like this. I am very proud of the life I have led so far. I have a lot of love in my life and a lot of laughs, and I wish that for you all. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.